Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kiri Cloudy, and first of all, yes, it's really good to be back doing ROM videos again. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro, which to this date might be my best custom ROM experience ever. Not even kidding. Now, the installation process of the ROM is pretty smooth for the most part, it's just that installing to upper recovery is a bumpy process for uh, people who are doing this for the first time and coming from UI because there are tons of outdated recoveries and info out there which could confuse some users especially if you're on the latest MIUI firmware as of mid June 2019 so what I suggest you to do is to install this version of to up recovery called Peter's recovery and then just install the pixel experience zip and that's it you're good to go no additional vendor VB meta or DTBO images required at all or even G apps not required it's as simple as that but if you still need some help I link my buddy Tito's entire tutorial for flashing this ROM you should be good to go now in traditional ROM review style let's jump into the features first this is just pure clean stock Android 9 Pi and I'm not gonna lie the experience feels exactly similar to my old pixel like to the point it feels like I transitioned into a different phone without sacrificing the old user experience which is just incredible. Now just to brush over some features we have the latest stock pixel launcher which is my preferred launcher of choice. Then you get the two button gesture navigation from Pi baked right in which you didn't have in MIUI and also color coded media and playback controls which I really love. And if you really want to get more info on Pi features in stock Android, I made a video all about that about a year ago. You can give that a watch. But yeah, you get my point. Pretty much all of the features from a Google Pixel are here. And I say pretty much because if I were to nitpick, I found exactly two features which weren't exactly like the Pixel. Uh, first, there are no fingerprint gestures on this ROM. For example, to pull the notification shade. And it's one of those things which I really love from the Pixel and it would have really made sense on a phone like a redmi note 7 pro which is a huge phone and yeah stuff like that would have been nice but also you don't get the night light feature from the pixel instead you get the adaptive display feature from lineage which is also okay but you can't adjust timings and stuff so so yeah it's a mixed bag so yeah stuff like that makes it different from a pixel along with some hardware specific features like not settings and customizations but nevertheless on the surface this pretty much feels like an exact carbon copy of an of a version of android you would have running on a pixel phone now let's talk about performance it's been great actually feels tad smoother than miui but that's about it battery life on the other hand has been excellent standby times are awesome like i go to sleep with 100 percent battery and wake up with 97 percent and on my regular usage on social media i end up getting some insane hours of battery life like six hours of screen on time which is great with still 40 to 50 percent battery life which is awesome but i don't know it's like inconsistent in a good way sometimes i would end the days with 30 percent sometimes 40 percent i would have expected the battery life to to have dipped from the miui but that is certainly not the case lastly well you might ask does it have any bugs well not really uh, i have faced this one weird bug where it just shows that i have weak signal strength over the status bar but apparently this is just a visual thing like actually i'm getting pretty good speeds of, over the internet both on both sims airtel and geo and also receiving some high quality calls so i don't know what's the issue it's just the icons which show uh yeah but whatever it's a thing but on the flip side, I have noticed some interesting things which really surprised me. Firstly, despite the unlocked bootloader, I passed the safety net test and also the Widevine L1 DRM check which is awesome. I can watch Hotstar, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video in full 1080p. But although Netflix isn't available on the Play Store, so just install it with the APK. And speaking of APKs, Gcam also works like a charm except I don't think the 48 megapixels photos are supported uh, in the version i use it's an older version could be supported by the newer versions but i link the one i use below the description but yeah overall i think this is a very simple clean and a very quintessential pixel rom in this class something which feels least like a custom rom which is good and a bad thing the good thing it, that it feels 
really polished as if it's a factory image but moreover you don't get some custom rom stuff here and there like magic support out of the box and substratum theme engine all that stuff is fine i can excuse that i don't think it needs all that it's just good as is and it delivers what it promises and i highly recommend that you install this on your violet it performs better than miui and it doesn't even have ads so yeah do it that's basically it thank you so much for watching subscribe for more redmi rom videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers